Well, hot chair, thank you for being uh, here with a smile after what I did to you last time. I, I went overboard, I, I apologize. Uh, members, very important. You have an opportunity to put a to put some requisites on this thing. Uh, I understand rail's gonna happen, so I don't wanna waste your time and debate this, other than you should be appalled that the city and county of Honolulu is allowing Hart to expend monies on a lobbyist, Dennis Dwyer. You can't do it, the city and county can't do it, but Hart can. They do um, uh, this by giving Dennis Dwyer $25,000 a month. And again, you should be outraged. This man's been getting this money since 2007. What does Dennis Dwyer do? He takes our tax dollars from the GE local share and he deposits it back into PACs, political action committees, and it's been traced to certain Democrat elected officials. Now, if you're serious about saving us money, now, any verbiage in the bill says, gee, when Brendan Morioka was head of DOT, he couldn't hire lobbyists to monitor the 130, 40 million we got each year from the feds to subsidize our highways. The Department of Health can't do it. So whatever federal monies come in, no one by law in the state of Hawaii, in the county or state level, can pay off lobbyists. When Hart was created, they gave themselves that right to do that. And you should be outraged that $25,000 again a month put a stop to it. So what does he do? I wrote Hart in November of 2014. I said, what does Dennis Dwyer do? They won't respond to me. I said, well, when I went to testify in June of 2014, when the Hart budget was before the city council, what does Dennis Dwyer do? The answer was, he's monitoring the right of way. He's monitoring the right of way for this transit project. We're paying Paragon to do all the right of way recordation. They got 3.2 million extra just a year ago. 3.2 million extra to pay Paragon to expedite this property acquisition. So why is Dennis Dwyer, why are we double dipping? So if you really are serious, you give a rip about the taxpayer, you would put an end to the abuse of, I have a litany of things I could tell you, but we don't have time for me. But just pick one. One, it will explain to you why many in the public are so PO'd with heart, because they don't give a rip. They don't care. If they cared, they would do what you do. They would put a stop to it because it's against the law. Again, I want to just finish up with, there's something really important missing. It's in my written testimony. Is that Hart and the city council has put this sleight of hand on the public that, gosh, they went to DC. Can we get out of the steel wheel? It's so expensive. Can we change technology? Over and over and over, we're locked in. We signed a FFGA on December 19th, 20. 12. We're locked in. Gosh, we want to get out of this steel wheel. Can we do something else? That's what they've been saying to the public over and over and over. This bill lets them co-mingle funds and extend the project to the 34 miles without ever consulting the public because the FFGA ends at 20 miles. It ends. We get relief. The public, the taxpayer, when this sucker ends at 20 miles, we're done. But you're going to allow in the mechanism of this bill to keep the funds alive for steel wheel forever without not once looking into the fact that you could have a two-foot pillar going into Waikiki with the train making no noise, a column that doesn't go 200 feet into the earth, but only a four-foot path. It costs a third of the price. You can move good services and freight on it. You could be making money. The private sector wants in. You've been getting testimony from Levix, but not one of you's will allow for an informational briefing and open this up for the truth to come out because we all know steel wheels will rip off. Stop that. I don't want to stop the rail. Stop steel wheel. Don't let it continue. Put an end to Dennis Dwyer. Mahalo. surcharge would be a temporary measure. Your committee and the Senate and the House together with the governor have an opportunity to establish the integrity of government by doing good on that 
promise that this would have been temporary. 